the rest.
Position tactics in effect. Exercise caution. Warning. Position tactics and insufficient action.
Could that monstrosity remain concealed from us? Duma hasn't much in the way of sight. They will not speak a word until the enemy is closing in, I believe. There is a chance, then, that more of those beasts are lying in wait. 
Oh, I'm sure Theo will love to hear that. Hmm. What of that woman who attacked us, though? Who is she? Clearly another horned assailant. That does seem to be the case. Moreover, their technology leads me to believe. They're off-worlders. What? Hmm? Hey, where's Nina? Uh -huh. Yes, where has she gone? Nina? I finally found you, you beautiful plants! Oh, and just look at you! Not a scratch on you! This tract of land is a veritable herb garden. Or an actual garden, even. So here we have a lab growing herbs needed to treat a fatal disease that, up until literally hours ago, had no known cure. How incredibly convenient. It seems your suspicions are correct. Delric, Rythel, and Kato. All of them with the words put to testing. These are orders. Testing? Delric is marked with a bug. Rythel, a bird. And Kato, simples. This confirms without a shadow of a doubt what I feared all along. Someone means our kingdom harm. Then, could it be? Yes, those horned knaves plot against us at the Empire's directive.
This is most disturbing news. I assumed the Empire had its claws in our lands, but to think they had sunk so deep. We witnessed plain as day the sort of tests they mean to deploy. To be frank, a laboratory of that scale is not something one woman can conceal. What's more, her friends have been spotted in all corners of the kingdom. Meaning that someone on our side has allowed these Imperial agents to waltz right over our borders. Fantastic. At this rate, it would seem that even I myself will have to fall to my knees and supplicate Maester Felgreed. Can I ask, what's with Midas? Why is he so pig-headed about this? I get that something went down 14 years ago, but what? Dude's clearly got an axe to grind with you people. But after all we've been through, you'd think he'd have a change of heart by now. Can't imagine what happened if he's still pissed. Yes, well... This conversation is not one I feel comfortable being overheard. We cannot know who might be listening in. Sorry, I hate to interrupt, but do you have a second? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. What is it? Commander Theo, I know you'll do your best, but I need you to understand just how valuable these symbols are. We found them growing in one spot and one spot only. Please, your men have to be very careful. We have to protect them, or we'll lose the cure forever. So many lives will be lost. You needn't worry. Trust me when I say I want to rid our lands of this illness just as much as you do. Those herbs are to be delivered to the Consortium, am I correct? Yes, Leticia promised to get me an audience. My men will see they are kept safe. You have my word. And in return, I assume you will discover a more efficient means by which to save our countrymen? Uh, yes, uh, of course! You can count on me, Commander! Though, Letty, I fear your arrival in the capital may not be well received. Your abrupt return after your equally sudden flight will likely raise eyebrows and wag tongues. To that end, perhaps it's best I accompany you. Back to Ascendros? Yes. Come to think of it, what you've uncovered is far too important to entrust to my men. What's more, my accompanying you will provide me the opportunity to answer Ray's question. Ah, I nearly forgot. Here. It is news from the capital. A woman by the name of Chloe Canaris, was it? Has been found, and is currently being held. Really? And you will never guess who supplied us with this piece of intelligence. Chancellor Neon himself. <gasps> Wait, what? I is that a bad thing, or...? Neon is a Chancellor and a Captain of the King's Guard, charged with peacekeeping in the realm. At first, your friend was assumed to be a refugee from Baldar. Her curious garb and general confusion about the situation, however, well, it led our men to believe the worst. She was suspected of being a spy. What? You locked her up? I swear, you harm one hair on her head! Calm yourself. She will be released once we explain who she is. However, I will do the talking. The Chancellor may not listen to Albie or Letty. I appreciate it. I know you've got other stuff to deal with. Please think nothing of it. This gesture is a trifle compared to what you've done for us. Now then, when do we depart? Right now. Right now it is. As soon as we've made our preparations, we will shove off. Hmm. I don't see Albert around here. I should look for him. It's Albert. I should talk to him before we meet up with Theo. Anyone home?
wonderful day. Love this place. 